Although profit and loss hold an integral value in any business model, businesses all over the world strive to provide a better service and value to its customers. But this is possible only if your business has a proper and organized IT infrastructure. ITIL is one of the best and leading IT service management frameworks, which is recognized globally. It helps the IT practitioners in delivering impactful and tech powered services to the customers across the globe. But what exactly is ITIL? Well, to answer this question, I bring you this video where I will give you a brief introduction to ITIL and its surrounding concepts from the ground up. ITIL stands for Information Technology Infrastructure Library. It is a set of guidelines that helps an IT practitioner in delivering the best services. Now, these guidelines are the best practices that are observed, gathered, and put together over time to deliver nothing but the best services. ITIL provides direction to an organization and its people in utilizing IT as a tool for changing, transforming, and developing the business. It mainly aims to enhance the overall performance of the business and deliver predicted service levels. ITIL was first introduced in 1989 and since then it has grown to become one of the most renowned practices with over tens of thousands of certified practitioners all over the world. Currently, it is owned by Axelos, which is a joint venture created by the Cabinet Office in 2013. Axelos released the latest version of ITIL, known as ITIL version 4, in February 2019. ITIL 4 focuses more on value creation rather than just delivering services. It defines a service as a means of enabling value co-creation by facilitating outcomes that customers want to achieve without the customer having to manage specific costs and risks. But how does ITIL help in the smooth functioning of the organizational processes? Well, this is because ITIL categorizes the IT service management into five service lifecycle stages, which are number one, service strategy, which defines the vision and the mission of an organization. Number two, service design, which refers to the plan that is curated to handle the current issue. Number three, service transition, which is the process of project management. Number four, service operations, which are the day-to-day -day activities which are required to be performed in order to complete the project. And finally, number five, continual service improvement, which is the stepwise process towards continuous improvement. Apart from this, ITIL works on a process map, which basically contains the description of all the processes that are integrated together and is managed by the process owner. Another important component of ITIL is the ITIL function, which is basically a group of people who are responsible for performing the assigned tasks in an ITIL process. ITIL uses various KPIs to track the performance, progress, bottlenecks, and various ways to improve services of the IT department. All these components together build the ITIL framework, which the organizations are free to implement according to their own circumstances. With this type of framework, ITIL becomes very flexible, scalable, and versatile. The best thing about ITIL is that it is constantly evolving to fit perfectly with today's market trends, which are in continuous flux. Because of these reasons, in today's market, ITIL has been adopted and implemented by most of the biggest companies worldwide, such as Honda, IBM, NASA, Disney, Microsoft, Sony, and many more. After learning about all these, if you want to become a certified ITIL practitioner, you have to clear four different levels in an ITIL 4 certification scheme. These are ITIL Foundation, which covers the fundamentals and basic terminology of service management, is the entry gate to the ITIL framework for managing IT services. Next is the ITIL Managing Professional. This certification will provide practical knowledge about running successful IT projects, teams, and workflows. The third certification is the ITIL Strategic Leader, which mainly targets the ITIL professionals who want a clear understanding of how IT influences and directs business strategy. Finally, the last one is the ITIL Master, which is for ITIL version 3 experts who want to transition into ITIL 4's master level. Considering the fact that ITIL version 4 is still new in the market and few of its certifications are yet to be launched, ITIL version 3 certifications will remain valid and ITIL version 3 courses
can be taken until June 2020. This brings us to the end of this session. In case this video has perked up your interest in ITIL certification and you are looking for structured training, you can check out Edureka's ITIL Foundation certification training with the world's best instructors and 24 7 support. I hope you have enjoyed listening to this video. Please be kind enough to like it and you can comment any of your doubts and queries and we will reply them at the earliest. Do look out for more videos in our playlist and subscribe to Edureka channel to learn more. Happy learning!